Hello and welcome to my Stamina Sock Mini build. Um, I tried this class, usually I'm not a fat, big fan of um, Stamina Sock that you, you really can't face tank a lot. You, you kind of rely on kiting people even in some kind of 1v1 scenarios. And especially Bow Sock, it's not really the playstyle I like. I like it more being a brawler type. But so far with that build, it's quite fun and you can still brawl some people but obviously you also rely on mobility so quick look at the character screen i'm imperial um orc would be better but uh, i'm imperial here if you can go orc go orc it would give you just more damage and speed while still the um, sustain will be still doable of all points into stamina the monos we are running is the thief i choose the thief because um, i want to have a really high crit chance due to uh, crit surge and the higher crit chance and the more damage sources you have the more procs you have and obviously only one per second but stamina source of healing is so fucking weak Crit Surge doesn't scale with anything, Dark Deal doesn't scale with anything, so the only heal you have that actually scales with something is bigger. And so we have to take a bit really how, how can we get the most healing out of this class. So I choose Thief for more crit chance. Then we have stage 3 Vampire for the untest passive, still super strong. I would recommend to use it, but Obviously, you don't have to, but it helps a lot. Uh, sustain comes from Ozoga Smog Beerhorn, gives us max health, stamina, and magical recovery, and we need both. Um, consumables, just quick. I'm using just normal tripods, health, magical, and stamina, and on our back bar, I'm using escapist poisons, which will give me uh, 4.4 seconds of CC immunity and will uh, immobilize the enemy while procs on. Alright, the first set we are using is Mara's Balm on body, 5 pieces. I have the heavy, the chest, the head, shoulders, legs, and boots. Everything I use in Divines except the shoulders, I don't know why they're in training, but usually two vines would be better here. And um, everything prismatic enchant reinforce on the heavy chest because you just get the most out of it. And um, in general mouse bombs, even though it already got changed and nerfed a lot, is still really strong, gives you good healing over time and the big purge every 15 seconds when you have more than six negative effects on you and when the purge procs you get healed per negative effect so there's no cool down on the healing per negative effect so you can get some really big burst heals between like 5 and 10k um yeah then the back set we are running is unleashed terror when you deal damage with a blink, charge, leap or teleport ability, basically teleport comes from is our streak. And when we streak through people, we apply a bleed damage dot over 10 seconds. And this can apply once per target. So if you streak through many people, everyone gets the dot and every dot, like literally every, every tick of the dot applies the bleed status effect which is another damage source and everyone gets minor mangle. Minor mangle reduces everyone's maximum HP by 10%. So nice dot, nice debuff and it hits everyone you flick through. So we have it on the belt in the mines. We have two times the jewelry and infused weapon damage and on our back bar we are running the sturdy shield and a powered dagger. Like the, the weapon type here is not really necessary. I just put, I just choose dagger because this was the only straw I could recon reconstruct. And powered to just boost our healing. As I said, uh, crit surge 
and Dark Deal doesn't scale with anything, so we chose Powered here to boost our healing more. Uh, from bar, we are running Master Dual Wield. Here I only have daggers because literally daggers is the only thing I have. So I choose daggers here. Best would actually be mazes, would give you the most damage. But I only have daggers. We are running one Nurn and one Charged because with one Flame damage and one Disease damage. Uh, charge will block a lot of uh, status effects and uh, we want to kind of get many status effects because they do give an additional damage source and this build is more about pressure with some burst possibilities with curse and frag and yeah the mythic we are using is the sea serpent's coil i have here bloodthirsty just to help with the execute phase a bit but infused is still fine if you don't want to reconstruct in bloodthirsty That's kind of about the gear we are running. Coming to our skills now. Front bar, rending slashes. This obviously gets buffed by a master dual wield. It's like a truck and it's basically our main spammable. Even though it's a dot, we kind of want to reapply it the whole time and use it as a spammable. And yeah, kind of spam it until crystal fragment procs. Because every time you use a health, magicka or stamina ability, basically ability that costs health, stamina or magicka, you have a 33% chance to proc the crystal fragment and then you just shield it, right? So rending slash is main spammable, also decent dot, crystal fragment, only use it when it procced, not, do not hard cast it. Then we have bound amaiments, it's kind of like the a night blades uh, bow proc you activate it every light attack gives you a dagger up to four daggers and uh, then you can shoot them all like after a short succession you shoot every dagger is nice pressure then we have Kamo Hunter on our front part to gain the major savagery and when we crit from the flank we also get minor berserk increasing our damage done by five percent Haunting Curse, Delayed Explosion, we have one after 3.5 seconds and another one after 8.5. Just try to keep it up always. It's a nice delay burst, you can really combo it. Apply Haunting Curse, uh, Running Slashes and hope for the lucky Crystal Fragment proc. Then I usually go with Bound Amaiments, so the daggers shoot into Dawnbreaker, so they are stunned and still get the daggers. The explosion of Haunting Curse will hit and then you put a Crystal Fragment on top. This is generally good amount of burst while having a strong dot pressure. On a back bar we have Crit Surge, our main source, basically our source of major brutality. Also the healing, when we deal critical damage we heal for 3800. Um, really crucial because your healing is basically shit. Uh, so keep crit surge is really important with many damage sources and high crit chance. Dark deal. You can use it as a burst heal, uh, but it's also mainly for the stamina sustain. Every cast of it will restore 3600 stamina and restore an additional 2400 over 10 seconds. Then we have Streak, our main mobility tool, also a stun if we need it defensive wise or offensive wise, and Streak will also protect uh, Unleashed Terror. Resolving Vigor, the healing over time, plus we get minor resolve for 20 seconds, mega skill now. Uh, yeah. Then we have Hurricane, our armor buff, also an AoE uh, dot we apply on people that can also crit and proc crit surge and um, we also get the uh, minor expedition for 15% more speed. Back bar we have temporary guards, um, it, we get minor protection while we have it. You can also go with uh, spell wall or I, 
maybe even Atro. In group you can go with Negate, uh, whatever you prefer in that case. Coming to champion points, uh, blue ones we have Ironclad for the damage mitigation, then Focus Mending to boost our healing even further, uh, Force of Nature, we get 660 offensive penetration for every status effect on our target and since we are running charge and we can proc some status effect it's really handy but if you actually have mazes uh, then you can go with fighting finesse or uh, mastered arms not really uh, maybe taumaturge whatever you prefer in that case. I choose Force of Nature since I lack the penetration due to only having daggers. And the fourth is a daily, Deadly Aim. Single target, we have our dots, we have our daggers, we have our frag, everything is single target. So Deadly Aim is the right cho uh, choice here. Uh, red ones, we have Pain's Refuge, kind of uh, must have. 2% mitigation per 2%. I like 2% mitigation per 2 negative effect on us. It's still good even though we have the perch all set. Uh, Pains Refuge is still the best you can get here. So Stamp by Sovereign, just 150 more health and magicka sustain when we have a negative effect on us. Survival Instincts when we have a status effect. Our core, core combat skills um, cost 25 25% less and this is running, break free, dodge, block, those kind of things. And then here I have uh, fortified for just an additional extra armor, but you can go with uh, celerity if you like, for more stamina sustain you can go with slippery. Uh, just what fits you more, or even Relentlessness, also really good defensive CP. That was kind of about the build. Uh, it's pretty fun, especially in BGs. In group it's also not bad, because you can maybe not put the highest burst damage or uh, in general damage on people, but uh, you can supply your group with these with the streaks done, with the uh, Unleashed Terror debuff and Dot Pressure. And if you want to put it, you can also put Negate and help with Ultums. Yeah, enjoy the build.